just this part of Fargo has been kind of going downhill. Um, I really don't know why. In AK-47, a modified AR-15, dozens of different types of drugs, and roughly a thousand rounds of ammunition. That's what Fargo police seized from a home last night in the Roosevelt neighborhood. Good evening and thanks for joining us. The laundry list includes heroin, methamphetamine, marijuana, fentanyl, and ecstasy, just to name a few. 23-year-old John Iden was arrested for possession, intent to deliver, and child neglect. Police say a one-year-old child was in the house at the time of the bust. Valley News Team's Bradford Eric goes door to door in the Roosevelt neighborhood and talks with those who say they're frightened by what's going on on their streets. And not to mention, this is the same neighborhood where 24-year-old NDSU student Sam Trout was murdered last year. It's sometimes I feel pretty unsafe. Um, we had I recently lost my friend Sam. John Fisher says he lived with Samuel Trout when he was brutally murdered last year in this neighborhood. He says he has family living in South Fargo and they aren't dealing with anything like what's happening on his street. But in the past few years, or well, the year, uh, it's been a lot of crime has been getting really high. And Other people in the area said the same thing. This man raised his kids here and says the last few years, many of the houses are being turned into apartments and things are changing. What's even more frightening is that Fargo police say John Knighton's arsenal and large amount of drugs were seized within a thousand feet of Roosevelt Elementary. That means the drugs and guns were seized from somewhere inside this shaded area. It's very scary. Um, we did a search warrant here. The officers walked in and found these guns laying ready to be used in various rooms with the suspect. Lieutenant Shannon Ruziska says their ballistic vests and helmets would do little to protect officers should Iten have opened fire. Officers were unsure of the street value of the drugs or firearms, but it's obvious that it's in the thousands, perhaps tens of thousands of dollars. The criminal element has become much more better armed and much more dangerous. Lieutenant Rosiska, along with Chief David Todd, want people to know this is what's in our neighborhoods and on our streets. They add someone will move in to replace John Iden's operation. You can come here, but we're going to find you, we're going to arrest you, we're going to put you in prison. Bradford Eric, Valley News Live. Fargo police say they're looking into if the heroin and fentanyl seized are contributing to the rising overdose deaths around the area. Police wouldn't say what information led them to that particular house in North Fargo.